Hey everybody, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. In this video, we're gonna show you step-by-step -step how to clean a fuel-injected gasoline intake using Seafoam Spray Top Engine Cleaner, a can of Seafoam Motor Treatment, and this screwdriver. The first thing we do is add a cleaning dosage of Seafoam Motor Treatment to the fuel tank. This tank has about eight or nine gallons, so I'm going to add a whole can. All I do is open and pour the whole can into the fuel tank. Remember that seafoam is made from highly refined petroleum. It cannot harm any engine and you cannot add too much of it. In fact, the more seafoam you add to fuel, the better it cleans. We're all done here. Now we're ready to show you how to clean the intake with seafoam spray. The first thing we do is warm the engine to operating temp and turn off all the accessories. We've been driving this truck so the intake area is hot and ready to go. Always make sure you do this with the vehicle safely parked and in a well ventilated area. The next thing we do is locate where the air intake boot attaches to the throttle body. What we need to look for is where the air flows into the engine. This is my air intake boot. This is my engine. This is where the intake boot attaches the engine. That's my throttle body. I just loosen this up and pull it off. And I'm looking right at my throttle plate. Another thing to be aware of is the mass airflow sensor. Never apply the spray before the mass airflow sensor. This one's way over here, way upstream, but sometimes they're down here. Just make sure you never spray toward the mass airflow sensor. Let me show you a clue why we recommend an intake cleaning like this at least one or two times a year especially for gasoline direct injection engines or GDI engines where fuel additives don't wash over the intake valves. If you've never cleaned your engine's intake, it's covered with this black, filthy oil and fuel residue. Oil comes up as vapor from the crankcase ventilation. Fuel comes as backwash vapor or evaporates from the chamber to form these soft hydrocarbon residues to form all over inside the intake. This is why seafoam spray was invented. The next thing I do is place the hook guide on the throttle body so the cleaning tube sprays about one quarter inch in front of where the throttle plate opens away from the nozzle. Once I have the tube adjusted and set, I'm ready to reseal the boot over the throttle body. At this point, I'm going to instruct my helper to start the vehicle and hold the accelerator at 1000 RPM over idle spec while I spray the full can of seafoam spray into the intake. Think about this. I'm delivering a high concentration of petroleum cleaning solvency through the intake in a matter of four to five minutes. I'm all done with this can, so I signal my helper to shut off the engine. All I have to do now is remove the hook guide and tube and secure the intake boot to the throttle body while the engine hot soaks. So there you have it. We showed you how to use seafoam spray to clean the intake on this fuel injected gasoline engine. We let our chamber hot soak for 10 minutes. Now the last thing I do is I start the engine. I drive for five to 10 minutes to burn off all those hydrocarbon residues. And remember, we also have a cleaning dosage of seafoam in the fuel tank. That's gonna to continue to work through the injectors to continue to clean the chamber while we have it in the tank. Until next time, this is Brian with Seafoam Official. We hope you learned something. Thank you for watching.